Hello, I'm Mr. Craven from the NET English Director Team, and today I'm going to be talking about Lady Macbeth from Macbeth. Lady Macbeth is clearly the wife of Macbeth, and one of the most significant characters in the play, though her role diminishes after Act 2. Now, Lady Macbeth first appears in Act 1, Scene 5, reading a letter from her husband. Now, her own ambition and controlling nature are clear, as is her low opinion of her husband. She's confident that she can control Macbeth, and, unlike her husband, seems more than comfortable with the idea of murdering Duncan. Lady Macbeth clearly feels limited by her gender, rejecting motherhood and pleading with the spirits to make her masculine so that she can become cruel. There's a clear echo of the language and imagery used by the witches. Lady Macbeth is also, however, only too aware of how to deceive and how to control her husband either through flattery or by questioning his masculinity. It's Lady Macbeth who plans Duncan's murder and who drugs the guards, but she finds herself unable to do the deed herself, and again ridicules her husband, having replaced the daggers. It's also Lady Macbeth who exploits gender stereotypes in order to cover up her husband's guilt. The Lady Macbeth's role from this point onwards becomes much more limited. While Lady Macbeth is keen to enjoy the throne, Macbeth begins to take control and to exclude her from his decision-making. At the feast, Lady Macbeth tries and fails to cover up for her husband and also to control him. Lady Macbeth then reappears in Act 5, sleepwalking, terrified of the dark, and attempting to scrub blood from her hands. She's clearly disturbed by her guilt, and it's assumed that her death in Act 5, Scene 5, is suicide resulting from this. Although Lady Macbeth is dismissed by Malcolm as a fiend-like queen, many people feel some sympathy for her, a woman trapped in a man's world, desperate to achieve the vicarious success through her husband that appears the only route she's allowed, but punished socially, emotionally, and psychologically for her attempts at taking control.